Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. Let's see what's going on for you. Some of you might be, might have a lot of Sagittarius energy in your chart. Might be like a stellium. Sagittarius. What's happening for Sagittarius? Ace of Cups. Okay. Beautiful. Show me more. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, because um, the cards, the big stack that just flipped around. Ooh, in the deck. There could be someone, it was the Five of Cups. Um, along with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone's upset about a new beginning that you have in love. Some of you guys could be getting married, okay? There's someone who's upset about this. Someone who's heartbroken about your new love, your new relationship. Someone could be heartbroken on your end, or someone could be heartbroken on your person's end. Some of you might be starting a family or you're merging families with someone. And this is hard for someone else to hear, hard for someone else to know. Some of you guys might be in a relationship with a Sagittarius or you're going to be. of swords. Knight of Pentacles. What is all this getting in the way of your new beginning here? <laughs> wow, yeah, two pages coming out here. Some of you guys have two people. Some of you guys have two people that are all wrapped up in your love life. Or they're all concerned with your love life. This could be someone on, again, like on your person's end, someone on your end, or both. <laughs> Don't mind Gracie over here in the corner. We got two pages here. All this here feels... I don't know what this is. Some of you guys have like friends or something that are upset about your connection. I don't know. You're fighting this energy, this energy off, these energies off. Yeah, okay. There could be something trying to keep you out of balance, trying to confuse you. Okay, someone, there could be something or someone trying to confuse you about an offer. Someone doesn't want you to accept the offer. Okay trying to taint the offer. Someone may do something impulsive. All because of this new beginning in love for you, which it's like... There's karmics here involved with your relationship or with your new relationship. Or they're focused on it, or they're they're affected by it. There could be someone who wanted you to stay in a certain place. What are these readings today? <laughs> All right, show me more. Two of Cups, exactly. 
they're trying to get in the middle of something for you. Okay, this is something that you know of though, okay? This isn't this isn't news. Just the concept of these karmic people or people who just are upset about your relationship. It's like it's not your relationship. <laughs> There could be someone who like, I don't know, someone's, there's a masculine energy that watches someone's social media. There's like an, an angry, impulsive, feminine energy. All in the middle of this new beginning, this alignment with a romantic partner. This is giving me some vibes from the Leo reading. That was Leo, right? Oh, it might have been Taurus, actually. So can you tell me why? What is the involvement about? <laughs> Five of Wands. who don't want you to be with someone and they try to influence the situation in a, in a manipulative way. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. Someone doesn't want something to be public or out there. Fire Cups. This was like a change that someone wasn't ready for or in advance, like in your love life that someone wasn't ready for, someone wasn't expecting this, I don't know. But it's like, I was asking like, why are they so involved? <laughs> Look at, why are they so involved with what's going on with you and your relationship when they're not the people in the relationship? They have there's they have investment in it for some reason. They're arrogant. These people are arrogant. These people are sad. I don't know, we got a chaotic feminine energy and like a real sad masculine energy. Um, there's some achievement that they didn't want. There's some level that you're reaching in a connection or with you're, you're going into a specific type of connection with someone. This is an achievement for you and it's in this person and, and there's other people who, who wanted that to not be, okay? It could have caused drama in a real petty way, okay? Um, there's a lot of like page behavior. Someone's like spying or just, you know, being nosy. Someone. So, okay, what else with this situation? Now, what are we talking about this for? Why are we talking about this? Yep, okay. These are confirmations of things that are going on that you know about, but it's like secretive. Like moon energy, four of pentacles. Literally working and collaborating to stop something, okay? <laughs> so this is like two karmics collaborating together, coming together for the main goal of 
stopping this achievement. There could be delays that are that are that are happening because of this. Okay, we have the nine of cups regardless. You know, you know, you're getting what you desire here. Or they're pleased with with a delay. <laughs> Gosh, you think these people would have something better to do than be so involved with your love life? this might be like a really important divine connection some of you guys there could be certain like lower vibrations and like entities even that like are kind of the fire behind what's making these people act like this like if these people are not spiritually my fault my not my fault my camera's dying um so i'm sorry if it cuts off at any point but um like the fire behind it for these people is like these people aren't energetically aware, aware of themselves so they could be easily manipulated by lower vibrations and they could be basically they're basically doing like like the bidding like the devil's bidding like that's literally what I'm trying to say basically um, there could be like I don't know they don't it's like they don't want these two people to come together. Okay. Um There's some like success that like they feel as though they've reached with this situation or something. I don't know. They could believe they ended or completely um, stopped all possibilities of a connection coming together or a relationship happening and they did not. <laughs> this relationship is happening regardless. This connection is going to happen regardless. And I'm honestly hearing it this lifetime or the next. It's happening regardless. Um, yeah, but there's some like, I don't know. They feel as though they've succeeded with something or that they've officially stopped something. They officially delayed something enough or something like that. Um, you know, it, you, there could be something about you staying private or having boundaries when it comes to what you share with the world, what you share with people, achievements in your own personal life, you know, keeping them to yourself, you know, again, not again, I didn't say that in this reading, I did say it earlier, but I say it a lot, you know, not in a paranoid way, but using your discernment and not, you know, not needing to tell everyone everything, okay? There's a message about that. Some of you guys might do that naturally. All right, is there anything else with this? Is there anything else about why we're talking about this or what's going on with this situation? Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. have an ancestor here or you are working with spirit guides or a specific energy whatever you resonate with you're actively working with them to get like this energy off of you or to 
get out of this like dra drama. There's like effort behind this crap that's going on here though. It's like someone puts a lot of effort, these people put a lot of effort in to influencing something. <laughs> like we're in three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Where there was stagnancy, something's moving forward. And I was talking about stagnancy in another reading. I don't know, I don't know which one, but um, earlier today one of the other um, two signs that I've done so far. So you're moving out of something regardless, you're moving out of a specific energy regardless, like where there was stagnancy, there's forward movement because of getting out of something that no longer served or an energy that no longer served or even um, a karmic debt that you have officially paid, already paid. Or these people have have built up quite the karmic debt. Here's something about past balance. Past balance due. I don't know. Someone's doing something with their credit. I don't know. Someone's credit could be going downhill. <laughs> what is this? What is this? And what does this have to do with the relationship? Someone's angry, like they're coming at you about this relationship. What does this have to do with it though? Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups. Some confusion is going to be lifted because I am feeling the confusion energy. Like what do they, what do, what do they want? I guess I'm getting like, it's like become ridiculous at this point or something. I don't know, like trying to cause drama within your relationship. Or trying to stop two people from coming together in general. Every you know, confusion is being like cleared up over time. There's something like real, like I don't know, something's really cryptic, or something's really like some of you guys like might have people who try to come at you like anonymously, quote unquote, but like you know it's them. <laughs> This could even be fake profiles. I don't know what this is. This is confirmation that of some sort of drama that's going on with you. This is not news to you. You know that this is going on. This isn't, this wouldn't go unnoticed is what I'm saying. Like, and obviously the readings that I do in, in the same day, like for certain signs, like there's going to be a set, like there's a reason why I chose the three signs that I chose to do today. Um, or I might do more actually. There's a reason why I chose the signs that I did today. And like there's a specific there's a specific energy that's kind of following along with the readings here um but this is like confirmation of some like drama i don't know someone's coming at you with fake profiles like thinking they're anonymous and they're not someone thinks they're like tricky but they're not and this could be happening to your person as well or it is like this is involving a relationship and they're just like involving themselves where they don't belong um All right, anything else? Mm, in time, something's getting cleared up here. There could have been, like I'm getting like even spiritual warfare energy. There's even a masculine energy who's catching on who was in the dark prior. Someone's catching on to what someone's trying to do. 
Someone could have not seen this at first. We have Sagittarius energy coming out here. We have Pisces at the end of the at the bottom of the deck. Okay. <clears throat> There's also um, some confirmation for someone that you I don't know. You have this ancestor that you connect with. And they're reaching out. I don't know. I don't know why I felt guided to mention that. Um, okay. Could be something about a triangle necklace. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. So much love. If this resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. And best of luck as you move through it. Thank you again for being here. Bye. So for those of you who enjoy getting your nails done, you enjoy doing your nails yourself at home, specifically gel nails, or even if you want to try to start doing your nails on your own at home, um, Nail Reserve, which is a vegan, nine-free, and cruelty-free gel nail company, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try a few of their shades and if I liked them to share them with you guys. And they gave me 50% off for you guys, which is actually a really good discount. So you get 50% off when you use my code Haley50 for two or more shades. Um, honestly, the this gel nail set is probably my favorite one I've done so far at home. There's literally every single color you could think of. There's more, okay, it says that there's more than 200 shades, but basically if you think of a color, even a shade of that color, they probably have that on there. There's a lot of options, a lot of beautiful colors. Um, they also offer a VIP subscription where you always get 50% off. You get early access to new launches and new shades and all of that, and you also get free shipping every time so that's also a really good deal if you're interested in that and that's $29 a month but that becomes store credits in your account so all around a really good deal plus they're vegan they're nine free which means they're free of like nine specific chemicals that are harmful in the formula and also cruelty free which is you know very good <laughs> So they're, they're called Nail Reserve. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. And again, for 50% off of your order, um, it's going to be the code Haley50.